Crafts and creativity preserve cultures and drive countries to wealth. There is a pride of lionesses who are driving the creative industry through creation of crafts. Meet Janet and Martha, unique lionesses creating crafts and shaping the economy. My name is Janet Fredman. I'm a designer. Uh, I own Janet Fredman Designs. Uh, Janet Fredman Designs is a, a business. Uh, we deal, uh, we manufacture handmade uh, jewelry. So we do handmade as well as uh, ready to wear uh, jewelry as well as um, custom made pieces. Janet Fredman Designs was born in 2012. Yeah, that's when it became like a business. But before that, it was all like a hobby. I used to make things just out of interest, you know, just like a hobby until one day I decided to turn into a business when I realized it was an opportunity for uh, making handmade stuff here in the country. So that's how um, Janet Fredman Designs was born. And that's how we started uh, making uh, jewelry, mostly for women then at the time. And then we eventually moved, uh, started making jewelry for women, for men, for kids, as well as uh, for different occasions. The reason why I chose jewelry designing and manufacturing is because I knew I had this uh, talented side of me uh, that I could make things. And you know, I have, uh, I was very innovative, you know, like trying to make new things. And uh, I was really also inspired by uh, a woman. I do men's uh, product ranges from earrings to uh, bracelets, uh, rings, uh, pendants, brooch pins, and uh, even do make accessories such as my you know, hair, hair bands, hair clips. So we make like basically anything and everything. The current challenges we're facing is having skilled labor where we need to train uh, more, the less skilled jewelers out there. So we are training more jewelers. So we need more jewelers actually to keep the business growing. The other challenge is the market. So we need to start, uh, we'd like to start like exporting our products to you know, the international market. Uh, the third challenge is having um, sourcing uh, materials locally because most of the, the materials we source are sourced outside of the country. As a lioness, you need to be bold, caring, daring, and hunt the market with full strength. Uh, my name is Martha Zulu, uh, born in 1965. I started this business in 84. Actually, I did my training in 84. I was taught by the Norwegians, and uh, there was village industry by then. So they combined this course, the two of them, and that's how I started my training in 84. Unfortunately, I wasn't, I wasn't good at school. So when I wrote my grade, uh, grade three, form three by then, I didn't do well, and I was introduced to this craft by my mom. I was brought up by a white lady, actually and she's also into crafts. So she's the one who introduced me to textile weaving. And after I did my training, I, I did well. That's how I started the whole thing. The challenges that I have is finding a big space where I can be teaching people because I've been approached by so many people who want to learn my job. So I don't have any space where I can put the machines, and the machines also are a challenge, and the, the space where I can teach the farmers. I can have a production room, um, a finished room, and finances is needed to make this business grow. These fabrics are throws. You can use them like to just throw them on the chair, and uh, when you're watching TV, you can cover yourself, you can use it as a show also. You can spread it on your bed. So all these here are throws and shows. And you can make them into curtains also. So
So what we do is we make um, we make a material and then you you can use it in any way you want to use it.